So this is a, an omnidirectional treadmill. So this is the only one that's com commercially available in the UK, and not Europe. It's built by a company called Omnifinity, who are based in Sweden, and they've been developing this for the last 10 years for the Special Forces. Well, they want to take infantrymen who've been trained, bring them to, to the various divisions, and then get them experiencing different types of scenarios. Um, and this, this allows them to freely move through that space and they can run a number of configurations and, and scenarios for them to, to test out their tactics and that kind of stuff. We're looking at kind of commercial technology coming from the, from the games industry, um, particular interest with the Omni Deck, which was not really in most people's budgets. Um, but what it allows you to do is move freely through, freely through large virtual environments. And we're interested in allowing people to experience um, transport related scenarios. Um, so it can be very large places like airports and train stations um, and allow people to navigate through that uh, and understand what the future might look like. Essentially what we have is a Vive. You might want to step off the, the rollers though because uh, <laughs> otherwise you're walking with me. So we have uh, two Vive sensors which track the headset. That's connected to the Omnifinity's uh, uh, software which interprets that and allows your character to move around Unity. Um, giving you free movement to walk around. So, for example, you walk in this direction, the, the rollers here are powered um, individually, so as you walk forward, they get faster. So the idea is that you can then transition through an environment without having to worry about a controller. You can move freely, you can walk up to objects, and as you get more and more experienced, you can really move around at pace. So here we're actually walking into the trees, or we can change direction and walk in this direction over here, for example. And the kind of thing we're, in this particular demo we've been looking at is um, we're actually in Milton Keynes. Although we are in Milton Keynes, this is in virtual Milton Keynes. And we re replicated this to allow us to start investigating some of the interactions between autonomous vehicles and people. So clearly having large robotic vehicles driving around um, on pavements can be hazardous and has various paperwork associated with it. Not every day is sunny as in, in virtual reality and we can then train people to work, to walk on the Omni deck and just walk from here to the train station in VR encountering these autonomous vehicles. And on those vehicles we can start to change their behaviour, we can apply different types of interfaces, so the whole thing could glow pink, um, it could project a big red dot on the ground or have various means of communicating via audio and behavioural changes. So similar to you and I walking down a pavement, you'll see somebody in front and if they're distracted you might give way and move around them. If, you're, if, if they are looking um, fairly, not very confident they might decide to change direction and so on. So it's looking at all those subtleties of interaction. Um, and what's the minimum we need to, to implement onto autonomous cars to give the likes of the public, you and I, confidence that they have seen me, they will stop, they will react and behave in a natural, natural fashion. So we can do all this in virtual reality, which is a huge cost saving. Um, and because it's, it's a, a simulated environment, we can implement whatever we want to in any way and control all those factors, which is very hard to do if you're doing user trials in, in, in the real world. We've had three, 400 people come through the lab. This is actually the upgraded version of the deck we had previously. Um, now the gap is minimal, there's no chances your shoe's catching the edge, it's completely natural, it's faster and so on. So we've had some really good positive interactions, people are jumping on within five minutes, they're naturally walking around. We map out a chaperone boundary, which Vive and Oculus people will be familiar with. So as you get towards the edge of the Omni deck, you can see that and we can increase the speed of the deck so if you're particularly confident of a large stride we can increase that speed so you, you never reach the edge. We're not doing the kind of things in the military we're doing where you can run, jump and crawl. Some of the videos on the Omni, Omni Infinity um, website will show that and it is capable of that but that's somewhat outside of our, our area of research. So we've got some, some virtual um, circles here where it'll start to, to, to accelerate and ro ro rotate the rollers. So if I walk forward you should be able to see the rollers moving on my feet. And I know what people will be thinking who are watching this. There'll be people out there thinking, when am I going to be able to play my favourite game on one of those? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not where you've got it, but are there games for things like this? So yeah, so we were talking to Omnifinity about um, applications of interest to our, our particular area of the transport. Um, but they are branching out from uh, servicing the military and special forces into VR arcades. So they're exploring different opportunities to, to create large warehouses full of these Omni decks so that uh, there can be teams either playing each other in those, in, those, in those facilities or playing international teams distributed around the globe. So yeah, it's a, an obvious kind of follow on because they've been doing simulations with 
ground forces, with tanks, with uh, helicopters, etc. So they're using that same technology and now bringing it to the gaming industry. What I encourage you now to shift your head a bit left and right because then you get something, this is what you would not get yeah, with yeah. the traditional dev kit one. You will get it then with the next version of the Rift. Your computer will capture the first mod field and it will capture the second even field and it will start to interlace them back together to create a single frame. 